10 I team exclusive now. We've been investigating child predators and child pornography in Rhode Island. And now I team reporter Allison Bologna has the chilling story of a 13 year old girl who had a very close call. I can't wait to see you when being kidnapped as quick as possible. That's the voice of 31 year old Edgar Braley. Two years ago, he tried to have sex, police say, with two teenage girls. He contacted them on their MySpace pages. Brianna Littell is one of the girls Braley first contacted. She was only 13 at the time, and Braley was only living four blocks away from her. At age 13, I had a MySpace. And, of course, like normal teenagers would do, they would talk to their friends over the Internet. And one day, I got these messages. Brianna says after a few messages from Braley, the comments became sexual. Saying how he's gonna like chop me up and like screw me with the chainsaw. Like sexual conversations and then start getting random messages. Brianna says she felt Braley was stalking her. Beyond scared and nervous. I didn't want to leave my house at all. It's terrifying. And Brianna's mother says her daughter did what she was taught to do when she found strange remarks posted on an internet site. I was scared for her, and I was like, it's some psycho okay. coming after her. The Rhode Island State Police Cyber Crimes Unit tracks and arrests child pornographers and sexual predators. Braley was convicted two weeks ago of attempting to entice minors to have sex with him. It's so critical that parents become informed. Peg Langhammer is the executive director of Day One, which is an organization that counsels sexual assault victims. She says parents need to make their children, even young children, aware of sexual predators that look for children on the Internet. They should start talking about um, what's out there with their children right away. Uh, and, 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 you know, once they're teenagers and they, they all have laptops and they are just using them in their bedrooms. For Brianna, she knows she's lucky. She says she knows she became very close to becoming one of Edgar Braley's victims. He calls me, yes. You can meet me, yes. Law enforcement officials identify Rhode Island as one of the states in the country with the highest number of sexual predators and child pornographers. They warn parents that they must constantly monitor their children's use on the Internet at all times to prevent them from being potential victims. For the I-Team, Allison Bologna, NBC10 News. Our I-Team investigations have legislators pushing for a quicker way to try to identify child predators. They want administrative subpoenas to allow... Police in Rhode Island to identify a suspect's computer IP address without having to get a judge's okay. The head of the state police cyber crimes unit says delays put kids at risk.